right, so when we go to back underneath the trailer, we don't want to back the truck in all the way. So what I want to do is I want to put my fifth wheel underneath the apron of the trailer. Now at this point, I'm going to put the truck in neutral and set my brake. Go ahead and exit the truck. Now since we don't have a sliding fifth wheel, I can use the leading edge of the trailer here. I want to split that front drive with the leading edge. That'll put my fifth wheel underneath the apron. So. Making sure that my kingpin is in good condition, that it's lined up, it's going to slide into the fifth wheel. I want to raise my landing gear about an inch off the ground. By doing this, we've made sure that our apron has made contact with the fifth wheel. Also, as we back up, we won't cause damage to the landing gear. Okay. By moving the bar in or all the way out, I can choose lower high gear. Once I've determined what gear I want to be in, I'm going to hold the bar in place and put the handle, which is hollow, onto the bar. Now I've raised my landing gear about an inch or so off the ground. I want to make sure both legs are off the ground. Now that we've made sure that we've checked, we've made sure there's no gap, our apron has met our fifth wheel, our landing gear's off the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and hop back in the truck and back all the way in. We'll listen for the click. Now at this point, I'm only gonna push in the yellow valve put it in reverse and sound my horn. We'll back straight up. So I heard the click, now I'm going to go ahead and do a tug test. We'll put the truck in drive, try to pull forward, the truck shouldn't move. So now that we have ensured that the kingpin is secure, I'm going to go ahead and put the truck in neutral, set my brake and exit the vehicle. Now I want to visually verify that my kingpin is secure. We'll get underneath the truck, make sure the silver bar is all the way across. At this point, we want to go ahead and raise our landing gear up completely. Then we want to make sure we hang the handle back securely. Now at this point we want to make our airline connections and our electrical connection. So I'll go ahead and take all my lines out of the holster on the back of the cab. I'll go ahead and start with my service line, which is the furthest in. We want to make sure we check the grommets, make sure they're in good condition, there's no cracks, there's, it's actually there, it's not missing any large chunks. We'll do the same with the receiver end. When I go to connect this, I want to make the grommets meet at 90 degrees 
and then twist so my glad hands are fully locked my electrical connection I want to make sure I check inside make sure there's no corrosion or debris I'll also check inside my receiver here or the socket make sure all my pins are in good shape there's none missing there's no corrosion or debris when we go to do this go to connect this there's a notch on top and there's a slot on the top here we'll line those up push your electrical connection all the way in lastly I'll check my grommets again on my emergency line also here as well and repeat the process make the grommets meet 90 degrees twist locking them in completely now at this point we're going to go ahead and disconnect so starting with my airlines and my electrical I'll go ahead and disconnect my emergency line first it's the reverse of what we just did so I'm going to grab force the air line up it'll disconnect I'll follow the same process with the next lines raise the lid for my electrical pull that completely out the same for my service line on the back of the cab there's a holster the same way we attach our line to the trailer is the same way we're going to attach it to the holster so I'm going to put my glad hand in at 90 degrees make sure that the hole on the glad hand lines up with a nub on the holster put it in at 90 degrees then twist it'll lock into place I'll do the same with this line lock that into place now your electrical line has a notch or a slot here a guide you have a holster on the top here that has a slot facing the cab so when I go to connect it when I put it in the holster I'm gonna make that slot face the cab and seat it all the way into the holster so at this point we're going to go ahead and lower our landing gear I'll make sure that I'm in the correct gear put my handle onto the bar and we'll go ahead and lower the landing gear Now, once my landing gear have reached the ground, I want to make the, sure that the feet are firmly seated. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple extra turns. So when I do this, I want to stand in front or behind the crank, grab with both hands, give it an extra twist. Then I'll go ahead and hang my handle. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and release my kingpin. So I'll go ahead and grab the release handle, pull out until it's all the way out and secured. At this point I'll hop in the truck. I want to make sure my foot's on the brake. I'm going to push in only the yellow valve. We'll go ahead and put it in drive. At this point I want to lower my airbags. So I'm going to push my ECS button down. Next to that, I have a truck symbol with some arrows pointing up and down. I'm going to push that and hold it down, lowering the airbags. This ensures that your feet are firmly seated. At this point, we'll go ahead and start rolling forward.